Hi guys, so welcome back to the compiler construction and design lecture number two and in this lecture let me tell you is the most easiest lecture in this whole series and today we're going to study left factoring and how to eliminate it and identify it. Uh, well this you can just cut it because it's the most easiest part. Uh, how do you identify whether a grammar is left factoring? Well if it is, the, if it is of the form A gives you alpha beta slash alpha gamma that is the initial terminals are just the same for every uh, this thing the options available then it is left factoring we it'll, it'll be more clear as soon as we take a few examples uh, so on paper like we did in the previous video we just see how we can eliminate it like what the grammar is what the format is so basically you take out this alpha common so I take out this alpha common and you write a dash you add this new variable a dash and for a dash you define a dash is whatever the part which is left after taking out alpha common that is beta and gamma is your a dash so this is a very easy rule guys and we're gonna see how you can do it with uh, just one example would be enough to clear this because this is the most easiest part so let's just dive into the example um, so example number one is a gives you a a b slash a slash a a and b gives you b b slash b so just for your reference I'm writing the rules once here once again here that is a gives you alpha beta alpha gamma so you do a gives you alpha a dash and a dash gives you beta and gamma the remaining uncommon parts okay so let's uh, figure out this one um, so the, for the first one you have a and a common so these are the parts which are being left out so you write a gives you small a a dash and a dash gives you a b slash a now for this one uh, this b is common okay so yeah uh, this b is common here so you write this uh, capital b gives you b b dash sounds fair enough however for b dash okay um, you have the uncommon part as this b but what is uncommon here nothing so as you can see it's just it was just b which was taken out so when you take out b common you're left with epsilon so this is a catch here which you have to remember so b dash gives you a uh, capital b slash epsilon so basically the only takeaway from this is that whenever um, suppose um, if I have let's say in this example itself if I had a giving me uh, a a b a a slash a okay so in this I would take out this a common from everywhere the uncommon part would be a b here it will be capital A here but what about here well if there is nothing here to take common I, after taking common if nothing is left you put in an epsilon so basically the answer in this would be a gives you a a dash and a dash gives you a b a and epsilon so that's how you do it pretty easy stuff guys and now when we move in the next lecture we're going to do some pretty uh, not hard stuff but it'll be more interesting and it gets better as we go on and on so in the next video lecture I'm going to be covering the recursive decent parser so see you guys next time do comment do subscribe and thank you for watching